and we broke through that cloud and I looked down and all I could see was lush green tundra covered in caribou and covered in snow geese. And the hair just stood up on the back of my neck and my imagination flew and I was hooked. At that second, that very moment, I was hooked for the rest of my life. My favorite animal is the wolf, you know. The most memorable experience is probably way back in July 21st, 1978, when I saw probably what was the largest caribou herd of my life. And at four o'clock in the morning, I was awakened by noises. Anyway, it was a large caribou herd. And um, they started coming through by our camp. And you could see tens of thousands in any given second. The cows are going like this all the time. Oh, 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 oh. And the calves are going, ah, 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 ah. And you get tens of thousands of the animals doing this all at once. It's just a steady din. And it's amazing, really. The sound and the smell, that's the most, that's the thing that stays with you. I was diagnosed with cancer very suddenly on April 10th. I had the CT scan of my core here for the so-called um, kidney stone. And um, boy, she told me two hours later, I had inoperable, I, well, I had incurable cancer, is what she said. You sit around a lot of the time. I, you know, I don't get any exercise. I used to be very, very active with exercise. I, I try, I'm trying to get out now, but my vertigo is so horrible. And, you know, it was really the end of my life as I knew it. This is the one time that we saw this muskox. We were chasing this muskox. It was really, it was really sad that it was not really his own decision, you know, and it was more. Um, the illness that that decided for him. I don't think he was ready to, to stop. Yeah. It's his favorite place in the world. And he yeah, yeah. and Where he's constantly, every summer, all summer long, he's been sharing it with people. And I think it's his greatest legacy. It's 44 years of knowing where every wolf dens are along this river or every arrowheads are because he's seen them well, he's the recorded them on his maps he knows so much history and Alex is, is just such a unique individual um, you know he's certainly been his own master and and that and and has danced to his own tune his whole life probably more worried about not paddling the Thelon than dying And uh, the last herd of caribou I saw was in 2003. And um, so I didn't see anything, dis nothing significant anyway. Mm -hmm. I guess I was seeing some caribou, but no herds in 2004, none again in 2005, none again in 2006. And I haven't seen a single caribou in the last two or three years, not one. There's nothing out there in the summertime, nothing. It's an empty land. I was there at the right time. I saw the best of it. It was just a paradise. It was Eden. When we had the big populations. <sighs> Caribou. Wolves. I don't know if they ever come. If it'll ever come back or not, I hope so. This was my life's dream in the end. I did what I wanted to do, and I spent 46 summers out there in the Barren Lands, and 41 of them as a, at a, a viable business, and which ended very suddenly this year. And uh, I have no regrets. I, I did what I wanted to do. I, 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 lived the life I loved. <laughs>